Hey everybody, welcome to Think Metal right here, allwesternnewyorkradio.com. I am Think So Joe, and walking in the door right behind me now is my usual co-host, <laughs> Mr. Jorge. Yes, usually late co-host. Yes, yes. JT is going to have a field day with you later on, board wrestling fan. Don't forget to turn your mic on there when you get situated. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're, you're kind of tangled up there. I, <laughs> I cleaned up the studio within like 10 minutes this morning, so I didn't try to untangle anything. Or <laughs> I, I didn't handle it. Nothing, uh, no, no damage done. Nice. Uh, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. It's great to be back. It is always great to have you here. It's, it's always fun. It's another wonderful week of metal and mayhem. Absolutely. In western New York, at least. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and today, is there a surprise today? Uh, no. No? No. No. But uh, we are shaving my head today. That's what is I Is that was, the surprise yes. you were getting at? Okay. Yes. I know I texted you earlier in the week about a uh, band that I had asked to uh, join, uh, grace us with their presence, but they're not coming. That's, That's okay. okay. They're busy. <laughs> they are absolutely busy. Big shout out to our boys, the Whiskey Reverb. Yes. Hard yes. Rock Rising, once again, winners. <laughs> And out in Niagara Falls, like you'd expect anything different. Oh, of course not. They are, they are one of our best local bands. I cannot yeah. deny that they are. They are one of my favorites, By far. and not just because they're friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Although that does help. <laughs> it does help. It definitely does. <laughs> they, they are really awesome. I've seen them live a bunch of times. Yes. And, uh, they never disappoint. They put on a nope. great show. Absolutely. So, if you have not seen the Whiskey Reverb. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know what to tell you other than you're missing the hell out. <laughs> Absolutely. Jeez. It, it's definitely an experience. So. Yeah. Well, today on the show, I am shaving my head. That is a uh, fulfillment of a bet that was made prior to the Super Bowl on the Noah's Ark show. And I was supposed to do it on the Noah's Ark show, but unfortunately, we've had problems where Noah hasn't been able to be there uh, and we haven't been able to do the show so I got to go ahead from Noah to actually go ahead and do it here on Think Metal and Which, uh, that is kind of a metal act it is I would I not mean, really I think not shaving your head is a metal act uh, it's expected <laughs> I guess it's it depends like I, I go from like uh, you know old James Hetfield to like current Phil Anselmo yes. I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep up with the times That's Phil awesome. Anselmo the cover boy the new uh, latest edition of Revolver magazine oh man great yeah. article in there with him yeah I've, I've been wanting to pick up Down's uh, newest album and or EP if anything but uh, I haven't had a chance yet but I, I, I'm hearing good things so yeah, well, Phil's actually got a solo album in the works. Wow. That's, uh, he's getting ready to release that. That's uh, basically the gist of the article. He's all He already has the last song he'll ever release. He has the music for it. He hasn't written the lyrics. Oh, wow. He says that's years and years and years down the line, but he's <laughs> he's ready for it when it happens. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's kind of dramatic. <laughs> it is, but uh, do you f expect anything less from Mr. Phil Anselmo? No, nah, actually, I wouldn't. <laughs> he has provided us with many, many, many years of musical enjoyment and metal chaos, so... Uh... Good for him. Absolutely. <laughs> Love him to death. Yes, he is on the cover of the current issue of Revolver Magazine out now everywhere. Pick it up. We're Pick not it. sponsored by them, but uh, if yeah. you if you have a uh, you know a smartphone or a tablet or something, you could get the digital copy uh, for ninety nine cents a month. Shit, man, that's it's a it's a bi monthly magazine, so you really spend like two bucks an issue. But yeah. <laughs> you know that's better than what you're gonna pay at the newsstand. So. Yeah, that's true. And there there's a lot of great articles and such in there, and uh, you know it's worth the money. Absolutely. Know? Even if you even if you buy the physical copy, which usually that's what I end up doing. Um, Oh uh, yeah, I mean it is kind of difficult to look at on a little tiny cell phone like you got there. <laughs> you know, I end up squinting really hard, and by then I'm tired, and I don't want to do it. Anymore. That's what I like about this big tablet I got now is I can just <laughs> throw on whatever you know. If I pick up a magazine, I can actually read like magazine-sized pages. Of this thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, man. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and and you know we gotta we gotta look for something to look forward to in terms of like music or something in this area because, let's face it, our sports teams suck. Oh man. <laughs> uh, yeah, the big news this week, of course, Lindy Ruff. Lindy Ruff is gone. He, he got the axe. Got the old kabutski. <laughs> he well, got the axe, and uh, they still suck. I, I tune yeah. in. I figure, hey, the guy's got a couple of days in with the team. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe they'll show some improvement. So I tuned in last night's game, and um, they, 
Not the best idea. They hired the hockey equivalent of Dick Geron. <laughs> yeah. I, I I thought you know that's the that's kind of what I noticed the minute I read the the uh, the Buffalo news like the next day after the firing and everything and I'm like oh my god this guy is like boring as hell. <laughs> he, there's nothing to him. He's just ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I watched the I watched the press conference where they announced uh, Lindy's firing and that was first of all I'm like oh they're gonna start a press conference at five. I'm up. I might as well watch it. <laughs> and then it's like 5:30. I'm like, is George running this press conference? <laughs> <laughs> you you could you could expect it. I had something to do with the timing. I told them I'm like, you better wait because I am not ready for this press conference yet. Um, start it when I say so. So they did. They did. They, they, uh, they, Loop told me that uh, the reason was that uh, they were waiting for people to get there because of the weather. <laughs> It's like, dude, this is Buffalo. If you don't notice, leave your house a half hour early. They were waiting. You don't deserve to be at the press conference. They were trying to jumpstart Ron Rolston. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> yeah, so somebody needs to jumpstart the rest of the team. Oh, <laughs> what dude, the hell happened last dude, night? it's awful to be blanked by the Islanders for nothing, and then be punked off like in the end of the game. You know, when Ryan Miller has to take off his gear to try and fight somebody. It, it, you know, there's desperate times. Well, you know, the team did jump on the guy, and they were going after him. But you know, Miller was just like, "All right, fuck this. I'm in." Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to beat the shit out of somebody. And, and Nabokov skates down the ice like he, he non. Hey Ryan, what's up? Yeah, he nonchalantly skated down. He, he had his, his stick and everything with him. He's just, he just figured, oh, I want to be there too. I'm, like, I'm hey feeling guys, left what's out. Going on? <laughs> why, why are you guys all doing this? And why is I'm everybody not here? over here? Why wasn't I invited? You know, he felt bad. Because you know he's been in the NHL for like what ever since the original six. It was like yeah. <laughs> it was like Mighty Ducks three. Yeah. Bored, bored, <laughs> so bored. <laughs> it was too. He just came down. He didn't. He he had no intentions of fighting. He was just like I'm just gonna skate down the ice. Hey Ryan, what's up? <laughs> you Ryan... get me Charlie Sheen's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Miller had the look of evil in his eyes too. He wanted to hit somebody. <laughs> and what about what about last Sunday? We were, I showed you the headline the other day and. Uh, <laughs> No, I had seen the article too, and it's oh uh, my god, Christian Ehrhoff. It was uh, Charlie Sheen was watching the game last Sunday, much like we were here in the studio. Uh huh. And Charlie Sheen goes, "Oh, I'm watching the best goalie, Ryan Miller, stand on his head, and some douchey teammate comes over and, and screens him." And Christian Ehrhoff's like, "Uh, yeah, that douchey teammate was me. I'm oh. sorry. I, I went to anger management. I'm good." <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> well. It- you know, Charlie Sheen is is one never to pull punches, and uh, <laughs> Christian Ehrhoff seems like a really nice dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he is. Uh, and, uh, it's just it's 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 it was, just funny. It know? was it, it was an unfortunate incident, <laughs> especially with our like level of uh, Charlie Sheen, oh, uh, our genius, <laughs> our genius over on the Noah's Ark show. Oh, it's beautiful. So when I, as soon as, you know, I got and I I got I found that article on Wednesday. Uh huh. And it's like, oh, great! And there's already the show's already been canceled. I don't have any use for this article now. <laughs> well, at least at least you were able to bring it here. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the good thing about having two shows on All Western New York Radio is I can bring all this All Western yes. New York Radio stuff over here if we don't do a show then. Yes, exactly. That's the that's the beauty. See, that's why that's why it was so good that we took a second show. Um, yeah. Because in the, in the unfortunate incident that Noah cannot do the arc, which, you know, it happens. He's got that recurring battle with AIDS uh, that you know he's <laughs> got to go through. from Kyle. He does. I, they keep giving it to each other, and and it's just it's just a seesaw battle. And um, we have this forum here to talk about it, and uh, you know obviously focus on really awesome local music as we always do. Yep. And uh, and hopefully hopefully soon we can book a couple more artists on here. Yeah. Uh, you know the local metal community should uh, step up and and talk to us and. Uh, you know, we're getting your music heard. Come on and uh, get yourselves heard as well. You know, yeah, absolutely. That, that's an invitation. It, and that's the thing: if, if you haven't been played on the show, and you you're like, why haven't we been played on the show? It's probably because we don't know about you. Yeah, exactly. And it, you know, nothing personal. We we do want we do want uh, we do want to represent the entire Western New York metal community, and uh, we don't want to leave anyone out. So if by chance we we might have overlooked. 
Uh, first of all, we apologize because it's nothing intentional. Joe, Joe puts in you know his best effort possible to to make sure that you know all walks of life are are uh, in in metal are, are represented. Absolutely, but. and I, I do this every Thursday night. I, I sit around and I put together the Think Metal playlist. That didn't happen this week. I just finished the playlist like <laughs> an hour before you got here. And, uh, uh -oh. <laughs> but usually I get it all done Thursday night. I pick seven songs, mm -hmm. and we get uh, you know some of the best some of the best metal. Oh God, yes, all throughout Western New York. I, I'm telling you, we we have just definitely this, this week. It was like uh, I had a lot of shit. <laughs> going on and it's like by like thursday night i'm like i cannot stay awake any longer <laughs> i must sleep that, that sounds like me dude i i had uh <laughs> i i'd been going on like two hours of sleep oh well, i tried again friday night uh -huh. uh, and, and the same thing like okay i can't I, i'm like almost done i i got two more songs i gotta pick screw this i'm going to sleep <laughs> So this morning I was like, okay, I I really need to pick two more songs. Oh, well, hey, sleep in in the end, sleep sleep trumps a lot of other things, <laughs> especially when you don't get enough of it. Uh, I'll tell you, it's it's been a crazy week for me. And I, I just, I'm not gonna get into that on the air, yeah. but that's you know. well. Hey, you're here now, you're here now, and and you're doing you're you're on the show. So we're everything's good now. Everything is good. Everything's and very good. What do you say we uh, we make it even better? Let's yes. let's get some music going. Let yes. me uh, find out what we got going on here. Let's melt some faces, man. I don't even remember what I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I got it. We're we're gonna kick off with a band from Buffalo called Amongst the Ruin. The song A Psalm, My Beloved, right here on AllWestNewYorkRadio.com. My beloved. <laughs>
Machine from Buffalo, the song called Pain Save You, and before that we heard a song, My Beloved, from Amongst the Ruin, also here in Buffalo. What do you say we get us back on camera? There we are. This is the first time I've been on camera on this show with no hat on. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> We've been doing this show for six, seven weeks now? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it was the first time I've appeared on camera without my hat. Go figure. <laughs> of course, uh, in a few minutes, it'll be the first time I've appeared on camera without hair on the show either. So <laughs> I did go out. I bought uh, clippers and everything. I got. Uh, I I spent about thirty bucks total yesterday when I went out. I I just showed you what I spent some of that money on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then the but the the big chunk of it was the uh, the clippers. Yeah, right. Because I need a new set of clippers anyway. <laughs> I also got Watchmen on DVD for three bucks. Great, great movie. Great, I like that movie, movie and I, I owned a, I had a burnt copy of it, but that got all scratched up and everything. <laughs> Those of you watching on the, uh, watching on the Ustream, I'll 
show you what I spent some of the other money on. And <laughs> there you go. That's uh, a nice little suit there that I have. Joe looking very, very dapper. Indeed. I like the I like how that uh, came out. I wasn't sure about it when I said, "Hey, this is what I want to wear," <laughs> and then it's like, "Ah, oh, okay, let me go out and buy something." And you gotta love thrift stores. I spent six bucks to look like that. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, man. Absolutely. You know, for six dollars, you're 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 gonna be uh, gonna be lighting up the room at the WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. Absolutely. I WrestleMania think, uh, weekend. Last time I wore like all black. I wore like a black like pinstripe jacket pinstripe pants and like just a black shirt red tie mm -hmm. <laughs> and a black fedora and this time it's like okay this is what i want to do <laughs> i think instead of wearing all black i'm gonna wear all tan uh -huh. all khaki colored stuff yes, <laughs> and that's what yes. I did, you know. switch it up a little bit it, it's it's good for it's good to have variety <laughs> absolutely i was i was planning on getting a white tie too mm -hmm. and my wife's like no 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 you need like a red tie something that'll pop I'm like, no i don't want a red tie <laughs> and then i was looking around at the thrift store and it's like oh i like this blue tie mm -hmm. i'll wear this blue tie <laughs> and then i came home i'm like this probably is gonna look ridiculous and i put it on it's like this actually looks pretty good. It, you you pulled it off very well. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I have a, a blue shirt I wore at my wedding. Uh huh. And she's like, "Oh well, if you don't want to wear the black one, you can wear the blue one." And I'm like, "You know, I'd look like Forrest Gump." <laughs> <laughs> Unless I wore a white tie and a white fedora, mm -hmm. or a, a, you know, a tan fedora, then I yeah. look like uh, smooth criminal Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> oh. You know. I thought about it for, uh, we were going to do the Thrill of the World, which is a, uh, mm. a annual thing that goes on where people do the uh, thriller dance. and mm -hmm. It's like a record-setting event uh, that's held all over the world. We were going to put one on, um, which turned out to be just this huge hassle. We had ended up not doing it, but that's what I wanted to do was the smooth criminal suit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> which wouldn't make much sense because it was for the thriller dance, but... Uh, yeah, you know. well, it, it, <laughs> you know, it, it's Michael Jackson. I mean, anything you do that will pay homage to him, it's not a problem. Oh, absolutely. It, it would definitely work, so you know, you could have pulled that off no problem. Uh, I'm sure I could. <laughs> Especially, I think that was back when I still had long hair. So... <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah, man. That would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> the suit, the long hair, everything. <laughs> yeah. Just I have to learn how to do that anti-gravity lean. lean. Yep. I was going to go for that next. <laughs> I have the video. They, they have the video game, the, uh, you know, dance like Michael Jackson video game. And the way you do the lean in the game is you put one foot forward and then lean forward. It's like, <laughs> that's not that good. <laughs> that's this not is, accurate. This is cheesy. <laughs> You could do so much better. <laughs> but then when you do it, 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 you know, puts a picture of Michael Jackson over you doing the lean. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it looks normal. <laughs> now it looks like I'm pulling it off. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> my 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 fandom of Michael Jackson just came out on Think Metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could have been worse. It could have been your fandom of Liberace. That's true. You know, and then, then we he was at WrestleMania one. Yes, he was. Yes, <laughs> he was. I, dude, I remember watching WrestleMania one. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever actually seen WrestleMania one. I think I've, I've seen every one of them except for WrestleMania one. Wow. I think I started watching it, mm -hmm. and like I, I kind of probably dozed off or something. I think I saw like Tito Santana and the Executioner. <laughs> <laughs> Tito Santana, one of the Iron Sheik's least favorite people in the world. With no, there was like no like theme music for the wrestlers. It was just Lord Alfred Hayes like asking him questions before they came to the ring. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days, man. <laughs> Speaking of wrestling, did you hear about uh, Glenn Beck? No. Glenn, Glenn Beck comes out on TV and he's talking about, uh, uh, for our non-wrestling fan audience, there's a wrestler <laughs> called Jack Swagger, oh, and he's got a manager now called Zeb Coulter, mm -hmm. and they're basically um, evil members of the Tea Party, and they're for, uh, you know immigration control and you know <laughs> stuff like that. And Glenn Beck comes out on TV and he's like all about like oh well this is terrible these stupid wrestling people blah 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 so wwe was like hey come on our show on monday and he <laughs> says no so i actually said hey come on our show on sunday and i got no response from the guy so i've been like you know just jabbing at him on twitter all all 
the last couple of days. Like, oh, I guess he's too good for us stupid wrestling people. <laughs> oh, shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always thought he was a pretty uh, smarmy little douche. So, you know, whether or not he's on this show will we'll never make or break me. So, right. you know, <laughs> Glenn Beck's listening. Oh, well. <laughs> Which even if he's not, fuck him. I, I highly him. doubt he's listening. No, no, yeah, because <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't take him as a true uh, appreciator of music. Right. You know, he probably <laughs> listens to fucking Boys to Men and the Village People. <laughs> Ass wipe. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I just thought it was funny, so it was kind of like, okay, we're gonna, you know. I got an idea. Let's call him out on Twitter. <laughs> he wants to talk about stupid wrestling people and stupid wrestling fans and. Hey, who better to talk to than us? Well, you, you <laughs> know, Board Wrestling Fan Radio is coming up at 2 p.m. Yes, on we, Board Wrestling Fan. We are intelligent wrestling fans, though. So, yes. You know, you, you know, between the the three of us and JT, <laughs> 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 you three out of four ain't bad, I guess. <laughs> hey, JT texted me last night just to tell me to check into Ring of Honor on Get Glue and get my Grizzly Redwood sticker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, former PWF Radio guests. So. Mm. Yes, yes. But that's coming up later. We're we're still talking about metal here in Western New York. Oh hell yeah, we are. And how great our metal scene is, and our our music scene in general is just great. I I don't. Uh, it's, it's great. We just need uh, more venues to showcase that music. I've often said that there's no better music scene than the one here in Buffalo, and unfortunately, we don't get a lot of recognition for our amazingly talented musicians here. No, because we're not in. LA or New York City yes and or I mean you know any of the bigger markets uh, you know obviously they're going to get a lot more attention but uh, you know it, it's time to start looking a little bit closer it's time to start looking you know in the cracks and the nooks and crannies of America and, and see that uh, there are some incredibly talented musicians in, in, in even the darkest corners of the US and uh, I never thought of us as much of a dark corner, but apparently we are. Yeah. And uh, I really think that uh, it needs to get explored a little bit more, and uh, a few more musicians need to break out from here because, uh, seriously, like even over the past couple of years, like there's been some incredible bands out there, uh, you know, just pumping out music and playing shows and, you know, busting their hump. You know, trying to make a name for themselves, and you really can't. You're you're kind of stuck in neutral around yeah. here. You know, they keep closing venues that uh, that are so desperately needed for these groups, and and uh, you know, and, and instead of anybody maybe uh, buying these venues out, reopening them, such you know, stuff like that, and, and they end up getting lost. And that's just one last place to play. Wish we had the money to buy the Icon. Oh, I miss Remember that the place. Icon? I miss that place, place so much. But uh, on the brighter note, the Showplace Theater could be coming back very, very soon. And Showplace is actually where I played my very first show. There you go. See, that that's, was, that's history. It was a year before I met you. <laughs> <laughs> that's ancient history, I that's think. That's way back in the day. <laughs> yes, the first, very first Think So Brain show was at the Showplace Theater with a fracture and uh, medicated silence and the band that eventually became Contagious Woo, Uncle Frank's Wallet, <laughs> I believe was the other band on the show. Wow. And uh, we had nobody there. We we had, like, people that came with us, and we had, like, The Fracture were out there and Medicated Silence were out there watching us play. <laughs> but it was cool because they were, like, pitting. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's awesome, man. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Feed it. <laughs> that, that, that's cool. And we did that terrible Garth Brooks cover. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, gosh. Oh, the days. Uh, yeah, the days well, the days before you came along, and and got rid of Garth Brooks. <laughs> we no. actually stopped playing it before you came along, but that's, uh, I like to be credited as the person though, because uh, <laughs> anyway, could you know wrestle Garth Brooks the fuck out of something is great. <laughs> um, but I did hear the Showplace Theater might be opening as just a theater though. That's entirely possible. Hmm. I, I wouldn't put it past them. That would be a crying shame. Absolutely. That was a wonderful, wonderful <coughs> venue. It, it, I've seen so many bands there. Oh, God, yeah. 
and I mean the place was perfect for music to tell you the truth uh, you know yeah it, do, it did have the, the facade of the theater of course but you know you had the seating area you know recessed you had that nice open space on the floor where people could come up and see you or come up and pit and do all that other stuff and the stage was nicely elevated it, you know you felt Absolutely. like you know you felt like a rock star it was a nice big stage yep he had plenty of room to run around and then like i you know after that i think the next show we did was uh scott leffler's porch <laughs> <laughs> the all WNY house party. <laughs> the all WNY house party. And we were just, you know, we went from this big, ginormous stage that's, like, bigger than this room we're in now to, like, you know, Scott's porch was about the size of the table we're sitting at. Yep. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I remember that porch. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Those were, uh, those were good times. <laughs> I love the founder. Oh, How yes. you doing, Scott Leffler? The old godfather. <laughs> We we miss you. We Absolutely, miss you. I I I chat with Scott on occasion. In fact, <laughs> uh, the other day he posted on Twitter, uh, you know, oh yeah, I'm playing. This is what I'm doing right now, and it was a picture of the uh, second prize in a beauty contest card from Monopoly. I said, "Damn, there must have been some ugly people in that beauty contest." <laughs> Scott goes, "Actually, I was the only contestant." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's never good. <laughs> <laughs> he was the only contestant, but he's still place. second place. <laughs> there was some. So, uh, I, I think the judging was rigged. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, let's let's get set up to uh, to do some uh, bet paying off. Yes. Some and head uh, shaving. Let's get some music going on with some God size hate. These dudes from Rochester, New York. This song called Red Rabbit. All West New York Radio. Think metal. Sorry. 
Hubris, they're from Buffalo. We cannibals must eat these Christians, that's the name of the song. Uh, before that, scenery with solace from Buffalo, Beneath the Lies, and God Size Hate from Rochester, Red Rabbit kicked off the three song set here on All Western New York Radio. Yes. I am Think So Joe, he is George. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes he's Georgina. Yes, that, those are those you know, weird nights when uh, <laughs> I need money. 
Yeah, that's that's a lot of nights. It is really. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's uh, you know every other day and then twice on Sundays. So I'm going to be busy today. I'll tell you, George is very excited right now. Oh God, I am, I am giddy. George I, I, is very excited right now. Wait. Oh yes, and that is not a dildo, guys and gals, or a vibrator. <laughs> it sounds like one, but those are clippers, everyone. Yes, those are brand new clippers. Brand new, just straight out of the box. All the instructions and packaging are laying around on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what the funny thing is? You've got the reminder of why your head is going to get shaved right now. Oh, I got it all over the you. place. I got one there, there, there. Yep. Yeah, yeah the Rubik's Cube over there. <laughs> or the, yeah. yeah, you're going you're gonna to be reminded of this for I a while. I am going to be reminded. <laughs> you know, they talked to uh, Monty Teo yesterday, oh. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> during the NFL Combine. Yeah. Um, I think the best tweet I saw the whole day was uh, Monte Teo is set to talk with the Houston Oilers. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I still love the, the Manti Teo kiss cam where they were just focus on, fo- focusing on people with with just themselves sitting there and nobody next to them. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> yes, yes, it is a beautiful thing. Um so, you know, because of the San Francisco 49ers' yes. inability to beat the Baltimore Ravens yes. in this most recent Super Bowl, Joe now has to shave his head. So everybody that's listening, I don't care how many of them are you, it, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> so If anybody's listening, and if not, they can watch it again. If they're listening yes, right now, I'll, I'll give you guys a second to go ustream.tv slash channel slash think dash metal click on that right now and we're live on the air you can watch me get my hair uh, hair shaved off (laughs) and for those of you listening on the podcast from allwesternewyorkradio.com you guys can also go to ustream.tv slash channel slash think metal think dash metal and watch this episode yes on Ustream but until until you watch this episode on Ustream just imagine this being a dildo <laughs> George <laughs> is not shaving my head with a dildo <laughs> oh that'd be so awesome <laughs> it would be funny but it's not happening no no <laughs> it would take a good goddamn long time that's about it <laughs> yeah that's uh, that you're absolutely right about that <laughs> Let me get it around my headphone wire here so we can <laughs> get across the room. We're getting tangled here. We are getting tangled. <laughs> I'm going to keep the microphone right on me here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this was supposed to happen on the Noah's Ark show, but it did oh, not. God. Just for a moment. I, I've known Joe with hair on his head the entire time I've known him. This is going to be awkward. <laughs> Uh, uh, you've seen me cut my hair before. Yes, but I've never seen you fully shaven. So we're going to, yeah. There's still going to be a little stubble. It's not going to be yeah. fully shaven. But, but it's, but it's not going to be, yeah, it's not going to be down to skin, but it is going to be kind of weird to see you. It, it, this will be unique. I don't know if we should put something down on the floor or just sweep it up after. What do you think? It, it's up to you, sir. I think we just sweep it up after. The okay. broom's sitting right outside the door. Okay, let's, good. Let's, let's go ahead and get this done. Get this done and over with. Okay. Oh, my God. George gets to do the honors. Here we go. Okay, here we go. There it goes. There's the first first little bit of hair going. I can feel it going. Yep. <laughs> I'm starting with the front because I want to fuck with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is coming out nice. Yeah, this already feels better than the last set of clippers I had. <laughs> no tearing? No tearing, no pulling. That's always good. Uh, the last set of clippers I had was, uh, I don't remember what brand it was, but, you know, I got them cheap somewhere, probably like a, uh, you know, what do you call it, a drugstore, like Rite Aid or something. Your wife is going to be fucking shocked. Ah, uh, she knows what's going on. Yeah, she's, she's, I don't think she's ever seen you like this either. I, I have buzzed my hair off before. Huh, I was going to say, she's known you as long, almost as long as I have. It's funny because when I first cut my hair, I got a faux hawk, and the the lady didn't charge me because it was my mom's stylist, uh-huh. who my mom had been going to for years, and the lady knew me, so she's like, "Oh well, you know, don't even worry about it. Just pay me next time." And then I never went back <laughs> because I just bought a set of clippers, and I'm like, "Screw this! I'm just gonna buzz my hair off." Buzz, buzz, buzz all day long. And, and no, this you're probably right though. I think this is the shortest 
that I've had my hair. I, I think I, I don't think I've gone without like one of the little combs that comes attached. Wait until friggin' G and JT see this. <laughs> Oh, uh, they might. They just might. So you guys get to watch it here on Ustream. Yes. I'm watching it right now. I'm watching it on the camera. It's yeah, great. I've never shaved anybody's head before, so this is really. It, my it's first a first. Time. It's yeah. a first. You popped my head shaving cherry, <laughs> my friend. Indeed. It's nice to uh, have a first. Oh, now you look like Larry from Three Stooges. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, that was a nice big chunk. Yeah, I felt that one. That's oh. that's right here. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all these, uh, I have curly hair, so this is all just coming right off. Oh, yeah, it's just falling uh, off. It, like big giant chunks. Oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, my God, Joe. Uh, you people that are listening to the show on allwestnewyorkradio.com or on the Destiny, Destiny Muted Player you're missing out. You you should really tune into the Ustream channel right now. <laughs> Ustream.tv slash channel slash think dash metal and yes. watch me get my head shaved here. Now, we're probably going to run a little into overtime today, which is not a big deal. We do it from time to time. We will get all the music that I selected in, but uh, this is this is important. And oh, this God, is yes. fulfilling a bet. And uh, I, I look exactly like I thought I was going to look. Like uh, like a pencil with the eraser bit off. Well, no, I was gonna say like like CM Punk when he got his head shaved by Rey Mysterio oh, and God. Big Show tore his mask off and he had the <laughs> the full beard and no hair. That's, you're, you're that's what look I look just like. Just like CM Punk minus all the tattoos. Yeah, well, well, not all the tattoos. Okay, minus I have some. The Pepsi tattoo and the Cobra tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. So I look like his promotional photos. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I should have invited your wife in here to check this out while I did it. <laughs> oh, and I, I, she's just going to have to understand, I did this, and I did not mean anything bad by it. Oh, no, she knows that I lost the bet. She, she, she kept saying, no, don't shave your head. Like, I have to. I lost a bet. That's yeah, the way bets work. Had this gone the other way, I'd have shaved the word ravens into my chest. Yes. That's true. And boy, would that have taken a fucking weed whacker. Yeah, I, I would imagine it would. I I I know how hairy you are. Yes, I am. From six <laughs> years of six years of playing music with you. Almost seven, you know. Almost, yeah. We're coming up on the anniversary here. We are. Holy shit. This back part's gonna be tough, so Oh I know. Well no, it was oh seven you joined us. Yes. End of oh so, six. Beginning so, of oh seven. Yeah, it'll be it's just over six years now. Okay, your wife's going to have to get around your ears. <laughs> I could take care of that. That's so, not a problem. Uh, I don't want to clip you. <laughs> I've had a barber clip me behind the ears before. Oh, Jesus. That's why I just decided it was safer to do it myself. Oh, look at this. <laughs> or, or have an amateur do it. Yes. <laughs> I, trust me, I'm not a professional. I am the furthest fucking thing from that. Oh, this is beautiful, though. Oh, these clippers are fucking gorgeous. They were a good investment. I only spent 20 bucks on them. Dude, you can't go wrong, man. Look at this thing. This thing is cutting through your hair like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> it's, uh... It's, uh, they're wall clippers. They're the color-coded ones. They come with the colored, uh, combs oh, for the was, length. That was loud, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Guys that are listening are missing out. Oh, my God. I'm dying here. <laughs> <laughs> George is George is having a great time back well, here. Now He's, I'm getting to the business end of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now I have a skullet. Yes. Oh God, you're gonna have a lovely head of skin. I look like Hulk Hogan, brother. Oh, brother, dude, brother, dude, dude, brother, dude. <laughs> Shout out to the local band Arm Cannon. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> if you haven't heard these guys, go to the Reverb Nation page. And check out, if you're a wrestling fan, at least the song, I Am a Real Sexy American Boy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Holy shit, we're almost done now. Yes, almost done. Yes, I'm just getting a lot of the uh, little spots here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Whee. George is having a little too much fun. Here. Oh, God, I'm having more fun than should be legally allowed at this point. Because now I'm almost done. Now I've gotten to the, the easy part. Yep. Oh, look at that. Just trying to even you out. Oh, look at that. You're looking good. Hold on. I've got to get the back, back, back. Oh, my God. 
hat and your hair is all in one piece here. <laughs> this, is, this is fucking great. Get up for George the Barber Beefcake. Yes. <laughs> I'm just not going to get in any boat accidents and need my face reconstructed and shit. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, God, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is... I am just fucking... In all my glory. <laughs> George doing a little strutting and cutting here. Strutting and cutting, <laughs> grinning and winning. <laughs> oh yeah, Joe, you are you are a beast. You are a sexy fucking beast now. The, the, the guys are gonna love you. I'm just curious now as to how much Brutus the Barber Beefcake actually would have charged us to come here and do this. Um, probably more than he's worth. Probably. You're probably right. He wanted ten bucks for an autograph. Yeah. See, that's already more than he's worth. <laughs> In the downside. Oh, Joe. Joe, you are a new person. I think it looks good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting these last little My bits. head's going to be freezing for the next few weeks. But <laughs> well, you, got a, you got a nice beanie that you just bought. Yes, I do. And that's going to be great. Yes. Okay, Joe. All right. Now I you think just it's... have to shake all the hair off. I, it feels good. It feels nice and shaved off here. Everything get those the towel. Let me get the, get the, <laughs> get my ears here. Back behind my ears. <laughs> oh, I, ladies and I gentlemen, I feel more comfortable doing that to myself, I guess, than George feels. Even oh. after I whacked him with a steel chair a few times. I, I know. I didn't want. I didn't want to draw blood. <laughs> a concussion is never as much as draw as cool as drawing blood. <laughs> um, right, you kind of look like. Uh, uh, the uh, the Amish, uh, what that Amish dude? Roadkill? Yes, Amish Roadkill. <laughs> kind of look like Road him. Roadkill. You know we're wrestling fans. We're talking about an Amish dude named Roadkill. Yes. Oh, <laughs> all the hair is right on the towel, dude. So. Which is great, or it's on my pants. Yeah, or two, but there's we'll, a nice big clump on the floor too. Well, you know, we'll we'll sweep up as we're playing the last couple of songs. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Once that towel goes, it's gonna it, the, everything's gonna be different. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait a minute. Let me. Keep the towel off because I got to get a couple little spots on you. Oh, George, is, George is going to finish up, and we're going to finish up. Let me let me put on some music. Okay, yes. Let these people get uh, the entertainment let's, they're let's here for. Let's spare them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, we're going to have to bag up the hair. But we will keep the we will keep the video on as yes. you're continuing to shave my head. But uh, our our final uh, couple of songs, we're going to kick off with a little stem. Ooh. Our good friends, no longer a band. <laughs> Left behind, Stem. Oh, that's radio. 